Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to walk you through a hardware upgrade that I'm going to do for my Gigabyte Aero 15. A little bit of background. I did a sponsorship deal with Gigabyte where they sent me this laptop to try out and to keep. And I ended up pitting it against my current working laptop, which is my Alienware 15 R3. So I wanted to see how this one did. And even though it had some issues, I've decided to do the swap, but there's a few hardware upgrades that I want to do to kind of bring this laptop up to what I think that I would want for all my content creation-y kind of needs. One thing I also want to address is I get a lot of questions asking what is the best laptop I should buy for video editing, visual effects, After Effects, Premiere Pro, 3DS Max, or people send me specs and go, is this the laptop I should buy? The first question you need to ask yourself is do you need a laptop? And the reason you need to ask that question is because a desktop will always value for money be much, much better than any laptop that you can get off the market right now. Laptops are really expensive. You're paying for the brand, for the portability, and for the form factor, for the size, for the convenience of it. The reason I have a laptop is because I actually move between two offices on a daily basis. And I tried the USB stick thing, it drove me absolutely back. So I ended up purchasing a laptop, which was the Alienware 15 R3, trying out the new Aero 15 from Gigabyte. I really liked it. It did have a few things though that I didn't quite like. Main thing was battery life, which was about two hours with some of the stuff that I do. Now I pitted it like for like in a test against my Alienware. I essentially just had one browser open playing a YouTube video continuously, full brightness, battery saver mode on. Got about two and a half hours out of the Aero 15, which does feel a little low, but then I get, did the same thing on my Alienware 15R3. I got pretty much about two and a half hours out of that as well. So they're pretty like for like in terms of battery life. Besides the battery life, I really like the laptop in terms of the, the weight, it's, it's half the weight of my Alienware. The 4K screen is absolutely amazing on this. By the way, I've got a full detailed review of this laptop. I'm going to link you that down below so you can check that out in all of the you know, gory details. So I've decided to keep this laptop, but the two things I wanted to do is I wanted to upgrade the RAM and I want to upgrade the SSD drives. RAM, just because this laptop has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is okay for most video editing, but if you're getting into more visual effects stuff with 4K work or you have multiple programs open like After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, some Google tabs, 16 gig is, it's, it's gonna be a struggle. So I wanna upgrade this laptop. And so I bought two new RAM modules. They're both 32 gigabytes. So it should give me 64. Now 64 is slightly overkill, but I do sometimes run simulations in Houdini or Blender and more RAM will simply help. So I did get two 32 gigabyte sticks. Personally, I think if you go into 4K and compositing, 32 gig is usually enough. 16, probably a bit too little to be honest, at least in my personal opinion. The other thing I didn't like about this configuration is that it only has a single hard drive. It's got an Intel 760 in it at 512 gigabytes of space. Now my Alienware on the other hand has a single one terabyte SSD and another one terabyte standard hard disk drive. So I've got four times the space on the Alienware than I have on the Aero. And I do want to upgrade the hard drive and I bought a Samsung 970 Evo Plus, a one terabyte SSD drive that I'm going to swap in. Now I've built a ton of desktop machines in my life, but I've never upgraded a laptop. So I'm a little bit gonna take you on the journey, gonna upgrade my laptop and then press that power button and hope it all turns on. So yeah, let's just get into it. Before we get into it, just a quick disclaimer that I do not take any responsibility if you break your laptop or void your warranty. What I show you here worked for me, but I cannot control how brutally you man or woman handle your laptop, so do this at your own risk. To open up your Aero 15, simply flip the laptop over and using a tiny Phillips head screwdriver, remove all of the screws. Then take something thin and sharp like a metal ruler or a wide slotted screwdriver and starting at the back, Gently lift the cover off the bottom of the laptop. This will expose the internals of the Aero 15 and you can see the two installed RAM modules right here as well as the single SSD drive. Next to the battery you will find the second SSD slot that I will be utilizing. First let's install the RAM. 
And here it is very, very important to note that the Aero 15 only officially supports a very limited set of RAM modules. When you get any additional RAM for the Aero 15, you have to pay special attention to the model and serial number of the RAM module that you get. And the ones I have here are the Samsung 32 gigabyte modules, module number M471A4G43MB1-CTD, which is actually the same model as I already had installed in the laptop, just at a higher capacity. I also asked Gigabyte if they had an official list of supported RAM modules for the Air 15 and they sent me back this list. Given the amount of angry Reddit threats and Amazon comments I found of people finding that the RAM they put into their Aero 15 wasn't compatible, I'd highly, highly recommend you stick with the modules from this list. I'll also drop you some Amazon links to these specific modules down in the video description. Let's get the RAM installed and that's really as easy as popping out the old modules and gently slotting in the new ones. Symbol done. Next, let's install the SSD. I got the Samsung EVO 970 Plus, but as far as I know, most NVMe SSD drives should work with the Aero 15 because there tends to be less compatibility issues with hard drives because their interfaces are pretty standard these days. I mainly picked this one because it wasn't too crazy expensive, it's quite a bit faster than the Intel 760p that comes with the Aero 15 and given the amount of heavy media work I do, I wanted to have plenty of space to work with. I also ended up moving my entire operating system onto this new drive so that all of my programs start off this faster drive and my cache files live on it as well so I get most out of the quick read and write performance. Again, there's going to be Amazon links down in the video description. Anyway, let's install this one and again, super easy, gently insert it into the free NVMe slot, screw it in place and done. New RAM modules are installed, the new SSD drive is in place. Let's close the laptop back up put all the screws back in and, moment of truth, let's try to turn the laptop on. Now, I'm pretty sure that didn't really come across in the video, but it was a bit of an adrenaline rush because when I turned that laptop back on, I got nothing. Black screen, keyboard lit up and nothing. Turn it back off, turn it back on, black screen, nothing. Tried that quite a few times, nothing came on the screen. But last attempt, I kind of just held down the power button for probably about a minute or so. But after a little while, the Gigabyte logo suddenly popped up. I'm like, oh my God, we're good. Windows started. I have the new SSD drive recognized. I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM installed and recognized by the machine. So it's now running with a lot more free memory. But I will let you know how that goes in a little bit. If you have any questions around tech, computers, laptops, video editing. Give me some comments down below, I'll try my best to answer it, but just be aware that I obviously haven't tried every laptop under the sun. I don't know all of the different processors and GPUs, so I'll try to advise as much as I can. But in the end, it really just comes down to your own budget, what you really want. Do you need a laptop, do your personal preferences, what programs do you want to run? So just be aware of all of those things. Try to do a bit of research first and then just leave me some comments down below. But anyways, the laptop lives, so that's kind of a bit of a happy ending to this saga, but that's all I have for you for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you're new here and you want to see some more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave all of that down below. And finally, as always, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.